in March of 2020. We're gonna celebrate the 90th anniversary of the school opening its doors. Some of the big reasons for doing this work are safety, accessibility for students. This school was built and added on to 12 or 13 times in a very traditional industrial model of education. And it's just not the way that we're doing school now in terms of the career-related experiences, the real hands-on and inquiry sort of learning. We're going to get that flexibility in our new learning areas and the updated facilities. We know that safety is our primary consideration for everybody who works and learns at Maine East. As we come into the building, it's gonna be the same beautiful building that it's been for the last 90 years. We'll have the secured doors that actually go into the rotunda that we'll still use for students when they're coming in before classes start. But once we start the school day, we'll lock down the rotunda, putting sort of a teller window in this right-hand wall. Present your ID. They'd then be buzzed in through another secure entrance. The biggest transformation is what we're actually starting to refer to as the student union. The design really looks a lot more like a union at a small college or a university. This uh, wall right now that separates the cafeteria from this big north-south hallway goes away with the exception of the structural supports. And then all of the classrooms on the other side of the hallway that go out to the outside wall in the courtyard all go away as well. So this all opens up now for student dining. So when you walk in, it really just has a very nice open feeling to it. This hallway as a formal hallway really goes away and it becomes sort of part of that open area. This open area continues over and it you know, quietly kind of a whisper zone. So around in center court will be more like high top tables and things like that where kids can kind of hang and study. This whole area is open from the cafeteria to be able to lounge, to dine, visit with their friends. On the first floor, this will be student services departments. The second floor includes a big gathering stair that we can use. We have poetry slam speakers coming in to talk to students. We have college reps coming in. And center court has really never been a means of access to get from one side of the building to the other. You really shouldn't go to center court unless you were supposed to be there for classes. Center court will become the hub where all students have a home. Uh, they've got resources, they've got the ability to study, to collaborate, and it's going to allow students to get from literally the west side to the east side of the building in a really time effective manner. East is built in such a manner, you're always kind of going around to get someplace. Depending on when you start to get to a second or third floor, sometimes you have to come down a floor to go across to come back up. So when we open up the center court area, it's really going to make it so much easier to get around the building uh, to do so quickly. There's actually a five and a half foot elevation change from the west side of the building that uh, borders Potter Road to the east side of the building over where we've got our cafeteria and our competition gymnasiums, our field house. We're putting in a series of ramps compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. All of the classrooms will get new paint, new lighting. Eventually the hallways will all be completely retiled, open ceilings up, putting sprinklers in, water sprinklers throughout the building. One of the key components of this big project is around the physical education and athletic areas of the building. This new addition, we're leaving the field house and playing off of that, and it goes all the way down the length of the field house out to the sidewalk. So pretty big footprint. On the second floor of this big addition is going to be a, just an amazing cardio and strength center and a big beautiful dance room and yoga studio. Currently the wrestling room will be a big PE classroom which we've pretty seriously needed in the program for the 15 years that I've been in the building. The architects have just done amazing work at pulling some of the architectural elements the design elements of the facade, the window decoration, where you've got some of the elaborate uh, brickwork, and all of that color palette is really gonna be incorporated now in the tiles, in the hallways, in the classroom. It's gonna be pretty challenging, and it's gonna be pretty amazing when it's done. It's gonna improve the quality of life for students and staff alike.